This is CPM Pre-Calculus Chapter 2, number 115. So here we're asked to simplify these rational expressions. Okay, so here in part A, we're given 1 plus x over y times 4y squared over x squared minus y squared. All right, so remember the key is to simplify and factor the numerators and denominators first. Okay, so what this is equal to, well, Let's do what's in parentheses first, because remember PEMDAS, right? Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or parentheses, then exponents, then multiplication and division, then addition and subtraction. So let's go ahead and add these first. Um, one is over one, right? That's the implicit denominator, right? So to combine these, we're going to have to multiply this by y over y, so we have a common denominator, right? So one times y is y over y, right? Now that they have a common denominator, we can just add the numerators. So it's y plus x times 4y squared over x squared minus y squared, all right? Because remember, when you're adding, you need to have a common denominator, and that's when you're adding. So remember, now these are being multiplied. So when we're multiplying, we want to factor the numerator and the denominator. So the numerator is just x plus y, right? I could write as y plus x, it's the same thing, over y, right, times, and let's factor this, this is just 4 times y squared, that's factored. Here we have difference of two squares, that's x plus y times x minus y, right? The difference of two squares, we're subtracting two squared terms. All right, so now when we're multiplying, we're just going to go ahead and multiply across, making this one big fraction, and these terms are multiplied, as well as the numerator and denominator terms are being multiplied. And any terms in the numerator that are the same as the denominator can be canceled out. So those can cancel. This y cancels with one of the y's here, so it's no longer squared. So that leaves us 4y over x minus y. Okay, let's box our answer, and this is the simplified expression for part A. Okay, let's go on to part B. Part B, we have this, these expressions, right? We have x squared minus 6x plus 8 divided by x squared minus 16 divided by, this time, not multiplied, x squared minus 4x plus 4 all over x plus 4. So what we need to remember is we can change division into multiplication by multiplying by the reciprocal of the second term. So this is going to be x squared minus 6x plus 8 over x squared minus 16, the same thing, right? And then we're going to change it to be multiplied by taking the reciprocal of this. So that means putting the denominator into the numerator, so it's x plus 4 in the numerator, and the numerator into the denominator. So we have x squared minus 4x plus 4. So this is equal to this now. And we're multiplying instead of dividing. So then remember, what we need to do is go ahead and factor all of these. OK? So on the side, I'm going to factor x squared minus 6x plus 8. I'm going to use the x method, where we're going to factor using what multiplies to get 8 and adds to get to negative 6. Again, you could use the quadratic formula for this as well, but I'm going to just practice factoring this way. Um, what are the factors of 8? Well, I have um, um, 8 and 1, 2 and 4, right? So if it's negative 2 times negative 4, they multiply to get 8, right? Because negative times negative is a positive, And they add to get negative 6. So that's going to be x minus 4 times x minus 2. Right, that is going to be what we have here in the numerator is just going to be x minus 4 times x minus 2. In the denominator here, we have the difference of two squares. This is x squared minus um, 4 squared. So that's going to be x plus 4 times x minus 4. That's how you can factor the difference of two squares. Times, in the numerator, we just have x plus 4. In the denominator, Let's go ahead and um, look at this in the same way, right? We have 
let's do the x method. So we have x squared minus 4x plus 4. What two numbers can then multiply to get 4 and add to get negative 4? Okay, so do we quickly know any of those numbers? Well, um, what are the factors of 4? Um, 2 and 2, right? But if it's negative 2 and negative 2, you multiply, they get positive 4. They add, they get negative 4. So that means it's x minus 2 times x minus 2, right? So let's put this in a little bubble. And so we can factor this to be what we just found out over here is x minus 2 times x minus 2. All right. And now that we're multiplying across this, we can go ahead and combine that um, division sign. And this, these are multiplied, right? All the terms are multiplied. So we can cancel out any common factors in the numerator and denominator. So we have x plus 4, x plus 4 x minus 4, x minus 4, x minus 2, x minus 2. Okay, so what are we left with? In the numerator, we just have all these are canceled, so we're left with 1. In the denominator, everything's canceled except for x minus 2, right? So this is our simplified expression for part B. Okay, so that's going to end CPM Precalculus Chapter 2, number 115.